So it's time for another demonstration drive. I'll be encountering a number of challenges and obstacles from pedestrian crossings to mini roundabouts to traffic lights. And I'll be talking to you as I go about how to deal with them um, and we'll see what happens. So let's just get on with it, okay? Um, we're going to have a 10 minute demonstration drive starting now. So I'm going to move off now. So I'll go into first gear, I indicate, I check my three mirrors and blind spot. Looks all good. And I'm just going to double check the mirrors as I go there. And the indicator will self correct. So following the bend here, we got a gentleman walking a dog here. So I'm keeping an eye on him. Just keeping left on this bend here. A little bit dodgy road service, but it's all good. So he's walking the dog there, it's all fine. Um, going down this hill here then, I see the slow sign, so I'm going to keep it nice and slow, just kind of covering the brake, giving the brake a little tap there just to uh, slightly slow down down the hill. Absolutely not coasting, there's absolutely no need to use the clutch here, just tapping the brake, that's all. Now at the end of the road here, I come onto a busy main road, I'll be taking a right, so mirrors, indicate right, I'll just double check the mirrors again as I come down. Second gear then to help me slow down, coming a little bit right of centre, reapplying the indicator, now just stopping here, there's no white line, but I'll just stop where I think the white line would be. Handbrake because it's a hill, first gear. Now I'm just going to creep out a little bit there. Not easy to see, so got a couple of pedestrians there and a car coming. So now I'm in a little bit of a better position, so I can see clearly on both sides. So we have a couple of cars on the right here, and one or two on the left. But I'm just waiting patiently here for my gap. I know it's just a pedestrian coming as well, so I'll just keep an eye on him as well, and make sure he doesn't walk in front of me. Or if he does, I'll have to let him go. So just getting the bite ready, looks all good. And one last look, it's all clear there. Completing the turn then, straightening up. And just checking my mirrors when I'm on the new road, just to get my bearings on this new road. Bit of a left hand bend here, so what I do now is I just come out a little bit central. Now not near the white line or anything like that, but just a little bit central in my lane. And that helps me see just down there a little bit better around the bend. Just a bit central. Watching out for any uneven surfaces or potholes as well. So. Looks all good here then, uh, the speed limit is 60 here, it's not an upper target now, it's just an upper limit. I know there's a yellow sign there if you can see it, um, that's just a warning sign, usually it means watch out for a concealed entrance, but it could be a warning for a lot of things. Um, just getting the speed down then towards 50, which I'm at there now, and um, that's the new limit now. So I see there's a roundabout coming up, I have the directional sign there, just checking my mirrors as well. Have a directional sign there, there's a yellow sign as well. Keeping a little left now on this right hand bend, going straight on the roundabout. So I check my mirrors now before I slow down, down the gears. One by one is usually best, I think it helps to slow the car down a bit better, so third gear. Now second for the ramp, also pedestrian crossing but no one there. Giving this steering wheel a little quartz there left. Now previewing, it's all good, there's a car coming there but I have plenty of room. Now keeping a little bit left of centre on the roundabout, now just checking the mirrors, including the right one. And all good there to come off the roundabout. So person walking there, bus stop sign. Red car there. Now there's a bit of a tight gap, but it's it's fine really. Like it's not that tight that I have to overreact and stop around like that. So it's all good there. Trying my best now to keep a door length, which I have there. Uh, yellow box. A um, couple of cars there as well. So I'm staying out. Notice I'm not weaving in and out of traffic. I'm staying out, driving in a relatively straight line. Just slowing in a little bit for this guy here, just just to make it a bit easier. Let's check the mirrors coming back in. So second gear for the ramp is usually better. Now you can do ramps in third gear, it's not really a big deal, but I just recommend second gear is better because it helps slow the car down a little bit more because a ramp is a hazard and second gear is usually the best for most. Although if it's a small ramp you could do them in third. So following the road along here, looks fairly quiet in front of me, a couple of pedestrians there, one more pedestrian further down there in the, in the blue top by the looks, a couple of cars coming there. Um, got some hatch markings on the road as well, which generally you don't cross those unless for exceptional circumstances. Now here's where you could do the ramps in third. These are a little small ramps, so I'm just going to the third, just check the mirror surface so on. Um, just going over the middle of the ramp there. I'll find there now. So they're only small ramps, so they can be done in third. Following the road straight down here then, keeping an eye on the mirrors. A couple of pedestrians, a couple of cars, sign there, keep right sign. And I can see there's uh, traffic lights ahead there as well. So I'll be taking a right at the traffic lights. So checking my mirrors now before I slow down. Uh, keeping an eye on cars, a couple of questions on the right as well there, we'll see what they do. So mirrors indicate right, mirrors indicate right. And the third, just double check the mirrors there into that filter then. And second gear then before I stop, reapply the indicator. And just straightening up and aiming to stop before the first white line. Handbrake of the mat lights and it's always good to use the handbrake at lights. It just makes the car a little bit more secure. I'm keeping an eye on my mirrors now as I'm here. and keeping my focus and concentration, watching out for any pedestrians, watching out for any cyclists that could emerge. Um, just because the light is red doesn't mean I can totally relax. You still have to keep your eyes peeled for any danger 
or anything like that. I notice the windows here are getting a bit fogged up, so I'll just turn the heating up to one. The demister that is, so that'll keep the windows nice and clear. You don't want your windows getting fogged up. And the back one is here as well if I need that, but the front is, the back one looks fine, it's the front one is a little bit fogged up on the side there. So keeping focus, keeping concentrated. I notice a pedestrian on the left there now. Um, there's a filter light for the left, but I'm not going left, so that's not for me. And as you can see, the pedestrian here is crossing the road. As you can see, pedestrians are not the brightest sparks in the old bonfire, so they will of, they will often walk out in front of traffic, like this chap here did. Um, very casual, don't have much regard for cars, so it's always good to watch out for that. So if it's gone green, checking the mirrors, and off I go. And just give it a little glance there to be sure. And in I go then. It's a bit of a one-way street here by the looks of the arrow on the road, so I stay fairly central on this one-way street. Um, <clears throat> Don't go left there before that blue, kind of stay out so, so I can see better around the blue car. Taking a left here, so just a quick indicator to say I'm going into the left lane and the road goes that way. Now I'm just going to drop a gear here because it's a bit of a bend. I have to ride away but I still give a look to be sure. Pedestrian there now but she looks like she's okay, keeping away from the car. Okay, and following the road up here. So one way system, so I don't necessarily have to indicate here it's all one way. I'm just checking the mirrors though, watching the pedestrians and the cars there. Now I'm going to take a left here, so staying left, mirrors indicate left, just slowing down. It is a one-way street, but I still feel I need to look right anyway, because you never know who will be coming down there, animals, cyclists, children, anything like that. Now coming down here, I'm going to be taking a right, so mirrors, and signal right, and just kind of tapping the brake gradually, just moving over, because there's room for two cars here, two arrows. Not just 100% sure, I'm just going to roll into first gear here, it looks fine. There's a car there, he has to give way to me, but I'm well ahead of him anyway. Another one-way street here, see the arrows there, the blue and white arrows. Staying fairly central in the one-way street. Um, and then when we get down there, there's flashing amber lights down there. Circular flashing amber lights mean give way to pedestrians or watch out that pedestrians could be crossing. Left and so on, in the kid left. It is a stop sign, so I am going to have to stop down there. Now, so we have some pedestrians here now. I'm just going to stop and see what they do. It's not designated, a I don't see any zebra markings on the ground, but um, it is a flashing amber light, so I'm going to stop and just let them go. And they're all fine, so they're safely crossed now. So check the mirrors and reapply the indicator, just slipped off there. Now it's a stop sign, as I said, so I have to stop at the line here. And now I'm stopped at the line. And okay, we got a good smart in there, and he's letting me go. That's fine, thank you very much. And I straighten up there then. And now we're in a bit of slow moving traffic here, so it's going to be very busy for the next couple of minutes here. I notice now there's some parked cars. There's also a yellow box here, as you can see, so I'm just going to make sure I clear that yellow box. Yeah, I can clear it now. So I always want to make sure I can clear the yellow box um, before I enter it. I notice there's a car reversing up here and a blue car coming out. I'll just slow down there. He's made his move, so I might as well just let him out. The black car is reversing there. I'm just keeping an eye on him. I have plenty of room, though. I'm just going to keep an eye on just to be sure now. Just pedestrians here, so I don't want to beckon this fella out now. He can make his own decision. So can this fella here and all these. So the handbrake there so I don't want to beckon them out they can make their own decision on what on what they want to do and they're more likely to look both ways then but as I was saying before pedestrians they can be very casual and cavalier about crossing the road stopping anyway so I can see the bottom tires there and a bit of the ground that's what I want there in relation to the black car in front of me I don't want to be stopped too close to the vehicle in front um, I have my handbrake up and I'm keeping focus on the situation here. I see there's pedestrians crossing. I see there's cars further up around the bend, which you probably, you probably don't see, but I can see a couple of cars and a couple of pedestrians further up. And I'm just keeping an eye on my mirrors too briefly. So stay in foot. Now the light's gone green, so just a quick check of the mirrors, getting the bite so I move off quicker. And in my peripheral vision, I'm watching these pedestrians on the left. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they were there, they're gone now anyway. So heading straight, I have to right away because I'm going straight here and your man has crossed me, so he waits. Another uh, pedestrian crossing down there pedestrian crossing the road I mean not not a designated pedestrian crossing okay so I can go up to third here I will go back down to second one in a minute bit of a tricky little tight bend here so I'm gonna just check the mirrors slow down first drop her into second <coughs> slowly off the clutch just turn them without crossing hands and trying my best here to keep out from the park cars just in case one and watching out for like lights like white reversing lights or something like that there's a gentleman on a nice motorbike there turning in so he's fine watching out for the hatch markings here as well which are generally there to keep keep the driver away, so separates traffic. Yellow box, so yes, I can clear the yellow box so I can enter onto it, because I can clear it. Couple of pedestrians here on the left as well, and lots more on the right, so just keep an eye on those. Slow moving traffic again. And I'm just coming up here now, and I'm following the flow of traffic, keeping, keeping
keeping kind of central here because the it gives me a better view I don't want to be going in into the left and then having to swerve out so at the moment then I'm just stopped here just apply the handbrake it makes the car more secure just keep an eye on the mirrors so creeping up flashing amber light pedestrian crossing so I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for any pedestrians that are nearby not just on it but nearby but it's all good and <clears throat> There's quite a build up of cars here, so it's very important to be aware of the, the fact that car, parked cars can block your view of, of a pedestrian waiting, so it's always good to watch out for that. Now, I want to make sure I can clear the pedestrian crossing the same as I can clear the yellow box. I don't want to block that pedestrian crossing. I could go up onto that, I could follow that car in front now, but I'd be blocking the pedestrian crossing, which I don't want. So, keep staying here waiting um, so the pedestrian crossing is kept clear, just in case some pedestrians might want to use it, like these two people here. So again, I'm not going to beckon them, I'm going to just let them make their own decision and then they're more likely to look like she did, she looked both So mirrors then, I'll wait till they cross first before I move and now they're I'll cross and off I go then. Okay, so there's another yellow box here so I don't want to block the yellow box. So I'm going to just prepare to stop before it. Looks like I can clear it but I'm not 100% sure if I can clear it so I don't want to risk going onto the yellow box and having the back of the car sticking out. So she gets uh, her good D for the day there anyway so just checking the mirrors now and off I go all cool beans bit of a bus there and by bit of a bus I mean a big bus so I have to watch out there there could be passengers getting off on the far side so it's always good to watch out for that I'm just gonna go handbrake in neutral there so I feel I might be stopped for a couple of seconds here I'd normally wait in first gear actually but it's okay to wait in neutral too if you want to give the old foot a rest keeping focused watching out for traffic ahead watching out for pedestrians, looking at their body language as well and even though I'm stopped and stationary try not to lose focus too much because you never know what could happen in driving uh, a couple of minutes ago I remember I turned on the heat and it's getting a little warm on the car now the windows are clear so I'll just turn it back on to zero now I don't think I need it on now any longer because the windows are nice and clear although if that changes I'll, um, I'll reapply the heating so still waiting here then looks like it's fairly busy ahead and as I was saying before, keeping a nice distance between me and the car in front. I can definitely see from my driver's seat here, I can see his uh, bottom tyres and a little piece of the ground. And that's what you want. You don't want to be right up behind the car in front of you. It's always good to give him space so that you're not too close to him and not, or not tailgating. It looks like it's moving now, so into first gear. And I creep up slowly, kind of using clutch control, which is kind of massaging the clutch in and out and then I just give it a little bit of juice then to get us going. So the bus is quite near me, but I'm just making an effort to come away from there, and there's no pedestrians, so it's all good there. Okay, so pedestrian crossing here. Um, nobody crossing at the moment. Make sure I can clear the pedestrian crossing first, which I can. If in doubt, always start in the left lane, checking the mirrors. Always start in the left lane if the road opens up and you're not sure. Let's say it's a driving test, for example, and you're going on a road, and the road opens up, opens up into two lanes. Always start in the left lane, unless the tester or the examiner says otherwise. As I'm coming up here then, I don't want to block this entrance here on the left, so I'm preparing to, well, it's actually moving now, so I'll just keep going. But I was aware that um, left turn there, I didn't want to block it in case, uh, if I was held up in a queue of traffic. So, light's green for me now. Just careful there in case anyone's there, but it's all good there. And I just make some progress here now. So, coming around a bit of a bend here, I can see the traffic ahead is, is kind of slowing down, so there's not much point in me speeding up when the traffic ahead is slowing down. I'll just keep the speed the same, maybe deaccelerate, and that'll help me to slow down and stop better. So I can clear the yellow box. Now I'm going to take a left at the next uh, junction roundabout, so I'm first in the get left, and slowing down. I'm already looking to the right, I think about that white car there, see that orangey Jeep as well? Just kind of roll around the first gear there. I don't know if I'll completely stop. Yeah, it's all clear. One last look to be short. And as I was saying it before, always start in the left lane if in doubt. Now I'm going to be changing lanes soon, but I can change lanes near a pedestrian crossing, so I stay where I am for now. Let's make sure she's staying there. She's fine, yeah. And I'll wait till I'm at least after that pedestrian cross. So I'm going to change lanes now. So mirrors, signal. Now there's a car behind me. I don't know if he's letting me go or not. Looks like he's going ahead. That's fine. That's his right. So I'm going to change in, so just double checking the mirrors, quick glance, and then double checking the mirrors again, and it's all good there to change lanes. And again, if I wanted to change lanes here, then I couldn't do it 15 metres before or 5 metres after the pedestrian crossing. So I'm going to be following the road down to the right down here now. So and when I get around here, I'll be looking to park then on the left if there's space. So following the road down along here, aware of cars, I have to right away, and I'm just going to be parking on the left here now. So mirrors in the gate left, just getting out the second gear. 
and I'm going to just park in the space here now. So, in I come, just getting close in there, watching the side mirror to help me, and just slowly maneuvering in here now, just turning the wheel a little bit to the right. Now it looks like I'm nicely in the space. I'm a little close to that car though, so I'm just gonna, I don't want to get too close in, so I'm just going to check around there now. I'm going to reverse back a few seconds there just to give him room there. Looking behind when I'm reversing over both shoulders and the mirrors. There's a car coming, plenty of room, he's nowhere near me. And I think that's a nice space there now. So, okay. And then I secure the car by my handbrake first and then neutral. And that brings the demonstration commentary drive to an end. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Quite a number of different challenges there. And um, yeah, we'll do it again soon. Thanks for watching.